My name is Mick McDowell. My wife Loretta and I own Maletta Vista Winery at St. Paul, Nebraska. We're just four miles north. We set up on the beautiful hills overlooking the North Loop River Valley and we have some of the best views uh, that you're going to find in all of Nebraska and any of the Nebraska wineries. Having been in the real estate business in St. Paul, we had access to high-speed internet, so we were used to uploading files at a rapid pace. When we built the winery and moved out here, we went from high-speed internet to slow internet, and it was really a challenge. So we were at one of the highest points in the area. We could actually see a water tower in a neighboring community that we knew had high-speed internet. We contacted that company, asked them if they would be interested in put, installing a tower here for the people in this area so that we could have high-speed internet too. We use broadband technology in a multitude of ways. We do Skype uh, calling uh, with the radio station. It gives us a great deal uh, stronger signal and much more clarity for the viewers, so it saves me a lot of time and miles to not having to drive into the, in, into the, the town there. We're also doing electronic newsletters. We have a web page, we have a Facebook page. You know, one of the exciting things that I'm looking for uh, down the road is uh, a product that will monitor our uh, tank uh, information that's going on uh, during the fermentation process. So TankNet actually uses broadband, communicates to the, the company in Washington State where they can monitor the cooling and if we have a problem, they'll call me on my cell phone and say, hey, you need to check the cooler, you need to check uh, this tank. But we're in that fast food society where everybody likes to have it now. That includes their internet connections. Two or three things, that uh, suggestions for people, you know, I would say find somebody that you can connect with that has a hunger and a thirst for technology and interact with them on a regular basis. And then use the technology. If you're not using it, you're losing it. But there is so much more out there and it's challenging. There's no doubt about it. The older we get, the more challenging it becomes. But when you start to realize and understand uh, the advantages uh, uh, that you have by staying connected, uh, you really increase your enthusiasm for what you're doing and I think you'll increase the longevity of it. So, And if you have multiple employees in your business, tap into that younger crowd. They have uh, an ability to adapt to the technology much faster than we do. And, you know, maybe we need to have little sharing sessions and see what applications they're utilizing. So. We're limited by our own imagination and our own desire and our drive.